Good evening, folks, and welcome to hell. Again. I'm gonna get Star Door 14 legitimately tonight. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to get Star Door 14 legitimately tonight. Unfortunately, that means I have to go through Fishing Hell once more. And I have to go through, uh, Quiz Game Hell once more. Twice more. Many times more. We're gonna die. But before we die, we're gonna see what the hell this has all been leading up to. If I am absolutely desperate, which, who knows, I probably am. I'm just gonna borrow someone else's Star Door 14 video so I can show it off my playlist. Reason for that is, this is brutal. This is unfun. I can't believe they would do this to me. Trails has betrayed me. Oh, whatever. Um, also... I may or may not have done the Sundor 3 off-screen. That was actually pretty fun. I should have I should have taped that because I didn't realize I'd be actually fighting important things in that one. But whatever. I want you all to share in my suffering. If you're just watching this for funsies, uh, come on in, take a seat. If you aren't watching this for funsies and uh, just here to see me suffer. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. There is exactly one reason I am going through this hell. And that is... Stardar 14. It's actually very important. It sets the stage for what comes ahead. Let's Ouroboros be as cryptic as fuck. Because of where you get that door. You can assume that it has something to do with Ouroboros. But it's important. And I want it. I want to show it off. I want to show it off properly. We've seen all this text before. I may be skipping through it, but you've seen it before. You know what it says. It's basically just, you know, Estelle and Lloyd having a fun little fishing competition. Uh, emphasis on competition, no emphasis on fun whatsoever. That's actually a lie. This isn't fun at all. This is just the worst. Do you like RNG? Do you pray to RNG Jesus? I don't. I'm not a religious kind of person. But would I pray to a god who smites me at every opportunity? No. No, I would not. So if you want to see me slowly lose my goddamn mind, here we go. Alright, I caught a trout. Good job. Alright, catch nothing, you piece of shit. Alright, so far, so good. Now, catch me a fish. This fails, I lose, I have to restart. God, I hate this game. Oh my god! What the actual hell am I supposed to win this? I think my game's bugged. I think I'm just looking for an excuse. Whatever. Anyway, I can't use the trident anymore. Let's try catching some small fish. Maybe we'll catch something nice. Who knows? Probably not. I caught another trout. That's nice. It's a small one, but it'll help. Help the total. That's the important thing. Of course, Lloyd catches something as well. He can't get too far behind. So we both caught two fish. I'm up by 20 at this point. Three fish for me, two for him. Now he's gonna start catching big ones, so I need to get supremely lucky here and have him miss. Come on, miss, 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 miss. Whew. All right. Now then, this is my best chance to get a lot of points. I got another trout. 
Come on, R and Jesus. One freaking time. One freaking time in your life. Help me out here. Oh my god, it worked! Alright. That should be enough to actually win this round. Which is good. Um. Bad news is, this is only Act 1. I've got two more of these to do, and they're both longer than this. <laughs> why the hell did this... Why the hell did Falcom think this was a good idea? Anyway, uh, naturally... Boy here catches something big when, uh... He gets the end here, but, uh, we caught... We got ahead of him there, so, you know. Anyway, I got an achievement for that, because I cleared all the sun doors at the basic level. But... That doesn't count, does it? Does this actually count? I'm gonna see if this actually unlocks Silver Star Door 14 for me. If it does, great. If not, then I do have to finish everything to the very end. I'm just I'm just hoping that this opens up Star Door 14 and I don't have to do this anymore. That's that's my goal. That's that's my hope and prayer. So, we received a fishing set, and 5,000 Mira. Continue to chapter 2. I'm gonna... I'm gonna hold off. I am going to hope and pray that that was all I had to do, and that I don't have to do this shit anymore. Come on. I know it didn't count me as uh, cl officially clearing the door, so I don't know if this will count. But I've opened all the doors. I've cleared all the first requirements. All is one. And one is all. All begins with one. And in the end, it returns to one. Only when you have released all the other doors shall this one open. <gasps> I only had to do the first part of the minigame. I don't have to clear it all. <laughs> okay, sweet. Um, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the official Star Door 14. I don't actually have to... I don't have to lose my goddamn mind. Alright, cool. Here we go. I'm glad this got its own video. <laughs> I'm glad it only took me one try after uh, starting uh, starting this up again. Okay. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. <laughs> thank you, Orange Jesus. Thank you for only mercifully having to have me do one of those things. I thought I would have to complete everything to the very end, but, uh, I guess I don't. I guess I don't. Yes! Oh boy! I shall grant you a memory fragment, and my blessing. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Anyway, enjoy this cutscene of the, uh, Liber Arc falling to pieces. have to admire the, uh, the masonry that went into this. How it all, how it all just crumbles. I mean, I suppose it's a good thing that it fell apart into a bunch of small chunks. Because if it had just stayed as that big, giant floating city without crumbling apart, the tsunami probably would have caused, uh, a massive amount of damage to the Pearl's infrastructure. And with Erebonia promising help on the horizon, that wouldn't have voted well for them. And just consider it a uh, lucky, lucky draw.
Hey, Blue Blanc. Don't just stand there. Say something. Why should I be the one to break the silence? Words have no meaning in the face of such a splendorous sight. All there is for us to do is be overwhelmed and awed by the spectacle before us. Bah. The others still haven't come back either. Kind of crumbing end of this whole shtick, huh? Ren left the city and has since departed this region. Luciola is missing. But no good can come from us fretting for her safety. <laughs> oh, no worries on that front. Just think it'd be a waste for a woman like her to die so early. So you know, you're just hoping she didn't lose her life for nothing. Ah, <laughs> uh, I quite agree. As for Luve, I fear the odds of him making out alive are non-existent. Yeah. Damn it. If I'd known this was going to happen, I would have finally made him fight me. He's always finding excuses to get out of it. Well, unlike us, he had a clear and specific purpose for taking part in all of this. And it looks like he may well have been able to achieve it at that. Though he met his end, I have an inkling that he, at least, is satisfied by the end to this story. Ugh. Hard to believe it's all over. Wh what? What's happening? I thought we were going to use that floating city to rule the burl. Then we were going to use it to rule the whole continent. So why is this happening? This wasn't supposed to happen. Wait. Did anyone ever actually say we were going to do that? Or was I just thinking it on my own? I was, wasn't I? Ah! I hate my life. All I seem to do is get humiliated by them and abused by Lord Campanella lately. And then to top it all off, this happens? I... I... Just what have we all been doing? Oh, Gilbert. <laughs> You'll never get to know Ouroboros' grand designs. That's what you get for allying with a shadowy society that nobody has any idea who runs the whole operation. Well, maybe Campanella does. That's about it. Lord Campanella! I'm relieved to see her well, sir. <laughs> the same to you, fine gentlemen. I'm thoroughly impressed with your work ethic. It takes guts to dedicate yourself to your duty even at a time like this. You should see what's happening outside. It's a sight to see, you know. All the mirror in the world can buy you tickets to see a show this incredible. You're not too late to check out the show if you head out now. Why not go take a peek? I won't tattle. Uh, we couldn't possibly. We wouldn't dream of abandoning our posts without permission. <laughs> I suppose you wouldn't. After all the training you've been through. Well, no matter. Now, mind letting me inside? I've got something I need to take care of in the sanctuary, you see. Uh, sir. B but we've been ordered not to let anyone inside without the professor's permission. E even you, Lord Campanella. He's as dead as you'll be if you won't let me through. I don't think even I can get a dead man's permission now, can I? What? B but that's just not possible. Oh, Dear, is my word that little is worth that little to you? I'm hurt. Maybe I should have a little fun with you like I always do with darling Gilbert. That might make you a little more inclined to have more faith in me. I, I we, we weren't. We never once doubted your word, so you need not trouble yourself on our behalf. That's lovely to hear. Well then. Why don't you go outside and watch the show like I suggested? You're under no obligation to guard this place now that the man who ordered you to do so is no more. Gladly, sir. G good luck with your business, sir. <laughs> they may have served their purpose now, but it seems a terrible waste to steal their memories and toss them out like garbage. 
Maybe I should put them under my command. Even all the noise going on outside can't reach this far inside the ship by the looks of it. Just as well. I couldn't fulfill my role otherwise. Requesting access. I, Enforcer Number Zero, Campanella the Fool, hereby request access to the Celestial Globe in place of the Third Anguist, George Wiseman. Uh, what the hell is this? We've been waiting for you. <laughs> Already here, I see. One, two, four, six. Three, five, and seven. Looks like everyone's here, but number three... Because number three is uh, currently dead. I certainly never envisioned that the Faceless would perish. Poor thing. All the trouble he caused with his old friends finally caught up with him. So how exactly did he die? I'm simply dying to know. Oh, I wish you could have seen it. The poor fellow was turned completely to salt from the top of his head to the tips of his toes. Then all came crumbling down into itty bitty pieces. Oh my, what a chilling way to go. I do wish I could have been there to witness it for myself. So he fell victim to the result of that singularity in North Ambria, did he? <laughs> I would have loved to see the real thing when it first appeared. Ah. You would have seen that coming. A guy never seemed to let his guard down, even for a second. I imagine it was the work of a Dominion. Almost certainly the fifth. The position everyone previously believed to be vacant. Alright. Guess that explains why he screwed up. So, what's the fifth Dominion's name then? Kevin Graham. He calls himself the Heretic Hunter, and he studied under the one and only Carnelia. <laughs> seemed like a real riot, too. Twisted in all the right places. He studied under Carnelia now. Now I'm even more interested in him. You gotta be kidding me, Abyss. After how into Leonhart you were, you're not even gonna mourn his loss for more than a second before setting your eyes on a new guy? Oh my, you've got me all wrong. I assure you I'm mourning Leon's death in my own way. He's not a man I'll likely ever forget. Especially as I could never get him to show even the slightest hint of interest in me to the very end. Indeed, he truly was a skilled swordsman. His loss will be keenly felt. He was the only one among the Enforcers who was able to cross blades with you, I believe. Certainly of those I have fought against. I often asked him to humor me with my training. I always felt as though there was a chance he may surpass me as a swordsman one day. It makes knowing he lost his life before having a chance that much more difficult to bear. <laughs> In my opinion, the loss of the Blade Lord isn't all that significant when you look at the bigger picture. A tiny predictable loss in our overall combat capabilities. Now, the loss of the Angel of Slaughter will have a much more of a long-term impact. <laughs> oh, the chick with the scythe. I wonder if she'll come back in the end. She seemed pretty confused. That's a decision for her, and her alone, to make. We may be above them in the Ouroboros hierarchy, but that doesn't give us the right to order them around. That is the way of the society. But still! Professor, all of us here are well aware of the importance of the Gordius series, but this is a law decided by the Grandmaster. Surely you are aware of what that means. You only need to look at Wiseman's obsession with that black-haired boy, 
to see what can come from being too fixated on someone. Indeed, the very obsession proved to be his undoing. Isn't that right, Campanella? You could definitely argue it was one of the factors that led to his failure, yes. Kevin seemed like he was trying to use it to his advantage, too. Alright, alright, I'll drop the issue. But know that as long as the 13 factories are in my care, the Gordius series will be of unparalleled importance to me. So I'll be keeping an eye on her from here, to observe how well the one she has is functioning. Certainly, we'll leave that to you. I believe we talked for long enough. The time has come for the Grand Master's advent. Is that so? <laughs> how thrilling! I see you have all gathered. Yes, Grandmaster. With the exception of the third Anguis, all are present and accounted for. Very good. You deserve my thanks for observing all that has transpired as my representative, Campanella. I am pleased to hear as much, Grandmaster. I imagine you are already aware of what has transpired during the Gospel Plan, even without me relaying the details. But allow me to fulfill my most important duty. Oh my! So that's... That's the Oriole! Thank you. If only the price we paid to obtain it weren't so great. Wise man. Leonhardt. To say nothing of the countless other sacrifices both human and otherwise, that arose through this plan. I, and I alone, bear responsibility for each and every one of them. H that simply is not true! Please, do not place the burden of blame upon yourself. The Faceless alone was at fault for his death. But if anyone should take the blame, it's we Anguis who chose to overlook his behavior, rather than steer him back on the right track. No, I half expected that this is what would happen. Yet I chose to leave all the decisions in his hands. I did so because I believed that to be necessary for this world. But nonetheless, the blame is unequivocally mine. Oh, Cranmaster. Why must you blame yourself so? Hmm. There will inevitably be a reaction to what has happened in time. But I imagine the Church will act regarding that. Let us leave the matter to them. As you wish. I must admit my curiosity is piqued, but it shall be as you desire. In that case, what should all of us do now? Hmm. The bells in the west have rang, and the first pact applies no more. I hereby proclaim the completion of the first phase of the Orpheus final plan, the Gospel Plan, and the initiation of its second phase, the Phantasmal Blaze Plan. Very well. <laughs> Leave everything to us. We your loyal Anguis, in accordance with your wishes, shall now fully devote ourselves to the execution of your plan. So it's time for the Phantasmal Blaze plan to begin, huh? The stage is set at the very least. It's gonna utterly dwarf the Gospel plan in terms of both quality and scale. <laughs> Things are finally about to get interesting. By the way, I might be the last person you want to hear this from, but... 
Would you mind stopping the whole peeping in thing, mysterious stranger? <sighs> he can see the fourth wall! Ah! Side story, Phantasmal Blaze complete. And we've finished all the star doors, so we get the uh, starry-eyed achievement. <laughs> and for our troubles, we also received the Brilliant Crown and 30,000 Mira. Damn, girl. Alright. That's it. That's all I wanted to show off. I thought I would have to go through all the fishing. I thought I'd have to go through all the quiz games. But I don't. I don't. I don't have to do it. It means I'm done. It means I'm done with this game forever and ever. Okay, that's not true. There might be another bonus episode coming where I just read through the books in the series. So, yeah. That's... Since they're all available in the library, it's easier to just do it from this game rather than any of the others. But yeah, in any case, this has been Logic Blade, and I'd like to thank you for coming to this uh, special bonus episode. I know it was a short one, but uh... <laughs> yeah, I pretty much did all I came to do here, so yeah. <laughs> hey, Corona Zen, nice of you to show up. <laughs> just as I was doing a cutscene. <laughs> I probably should have just recorded this manually if I knew it was going to be this short. I figured I would have been here for hours and hours just doing pointless minigames, but nope. Nope, it's done. It's done. It's finally over and done with. <laughs> How are you doing? Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I'll do an actual video next time around. When that time is, I'm not sure.